This is your station. But what am I actually doing here? I'm not going to tell you. Don't worry. You're going to figure it out. From FX on Hulu comes the limited series Devs from the mind of Alex Garland. It's the story of a young software developer who uncovers a technology-based conspiracy that could change the world. And joining me right now is the star of Devs, Nick Offerman. Hey, Nick. Hello, Jeff. Thanks so much for talking to me today. My pleasure. So, Nick, you're known for your comedic roles like in Parks and Recreation, but for this, this is a departure for you, uh, playing a CEO of a super tech company. Well, um, what drew me to playing the role of Forrest, uh, who is kind of a groovy, mysterious uh, tech genius. He r runs a company in Silicon Valley um, centered around a quantum computer that he created. The thing that drew me to it, uh, first and foremost, was just the name Alex Garland. Uh, when I heard he was interested in meeting me uh, to do this, I, I was over the moon. I've done a lot of dramatic work in my career. People just haven't seen a lot of it's been on stage in Chicago, LA, and New York. Um, but I, I feel like a, an actor uh, who does you know anything on the spectrum from comedy to drama, but of course people know me best for, uh, for Parks and Recreation. So, um, so it, it's important that they know uh, I'm not terrifically funny in this in this sci-fi thriller. <laughs> and I understand that show creator Alex Garland actually taught quantum mechanics to the cast. Did you go to those classes? Yeah, he was very generous. Um, it's very smart for a filmmaker to hold as many rehearsals as possible. Rehearsals are just smart in, in life and in, uh, in show business. So we would get together for these rehearsals where we would work through the script and, and uh, he's very collaborative, um, especially for a, a genius novelist, you know, to sit the cast down and say, does this work for you? Can we, can we improve this uh, together until we all feel comfortable? He's a wonderful collaborator. And in those, in those rehearsals, he would gently walk us through uh, all of the theory behind quantum computing and, and the many worlds theory. And uh, he's so good at it. He's so smart and such a good teacher that I, he even brought me around to understanding it. Nick, I have to admit, I'm an analog man in a digital world. Are you much of a tech guy at heart? No, I'm with you 100%. I, uh, I'm simple. I, I'm very happy. You know, it's, it's funny, though. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be 50 this year, so I'm uh, Generation X, and we're the ones that, uh, uh, you know, our parents' generation depended on us to program the VCR for them when that technology came along. And so I just feel like it's only natural that now I'm the one turning to a, a, a first grader to say, can you help me uh, download the new operating system to my smartphone, please? Now, I understand for this series, they created some massive sets instead of using a lot of green screen. Was that beneficial to you as an actor to walk onto these incredible sets? Absolutely. I mean, I have not worked on a lot of spaceship uh, fare, as it were. I, I haven't acted to uh, too many tennis balls in my day, to my great chagrin. Uh, I w wish I was a, a dwarf in Lord of the Rings more than anything. But... Uh, Let's put that rancor behind us um, and get back to the question at hand. Uh, the, the set that, that was born of, of Alex's vision and created by his longtime collaborators known as Marco and Mish uh, in a huge soundstage in Manchester, England. I mean, it was like walking into, uh, I assume, uh, the Millennium Falcon or, you know, it. It was the, the effect of this incredible, uh, fictional, magical building um, gave such a, an, an incredible tone to everything we did in and around it. So uh, I think it was an invaluable investment. Now, Nick, you're known for your beard, but your beard seems like it's got a life of its own in devs. I, I was very grateful that they... Uh, I, my favorite thing when, when I get a job is to talk to the creator, the director, uh, and, and say, 
Okay, great. Thank you for the job. Now, what am I going to look like? What kind of whiskers am I going to have or not? What weird way am I going to get to shave my head this time? And uh, so Alex was game. We, we talked a lot about, about this look. And this, this brilliant um, hair and makeup artist named Nadia Stacy. she's British. Uh, she won a BAFTA for The Favorite, that great movie with Olivia Colman a couple years ago. Um, she, uh, she then made it happen, you know, this weird long blonde wig with a lot of bald on top. And then she took my own real huge beard and trimmed it in a, in a different shape and then made it look like I was a ginger. Um, and I, I was just crazy about it. I, one of my favorite goals as an actor is for people to see my work and have it be effective, first and foremost, in the storytelling, but then have them say, oh, I didn't even recognize him. That's the guy from that other thing. That's, that's my ultimate goal. And I feel like with the help of Nadia and Alex, uh, I, I might pull that off here. Well, Nick, congratulations on devs. And when you have a chance, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. Thank you. I certainly will. It's, I'm, I'm due to come back and, and throw some more of my money out the window. Life is just something we watch unfold. What's inside? Everything. Devs is now streaming exclusively on FX on Hulu. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFromCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.